you can dominate with these epics. Apocalypto here on Watcher of Realms. Welcome again. Uh, I want to make sure everyone likes and subscribe to the video while you're at it, while you're here. Um, so, you're new to the game. You don't have any Legos, or, or maybe not very many Legos. Let's say you're free to play, very free to play. Let's say you have no summons to get any, any um, you know, super high, uh, super awesome, uh, you know, legendaries or, or, or very, very highly good epics, right? Let's just say that's the case. Let's just say you got a couple here, a couple there, and you really need to make some, some at least one team, right? That would be outstanding for both gold farming and experience farming, right? Those are two very important things that you're going to need to do to be able to level up quickly in this game. The more you focus on those, and the more you're going to be able to level up, and the more you're going to be able to take advantage of those level up star up events, of uh, farming events, of you know um, gear raid events at, at, at eventually, right? So you're going to need to be able to get these going. Right. So what I've done is I put together a small little little video here, a little how to on how to do a, 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 a experience raid run and how to do a gold raid run. All right. There's not a whole lot of difference in between the two it is basically the same, um, just a little different colors, essentially. Uh, and as long as you use the same, I mean, uh, you can use the same heroes, uh, the same crew. I, I use the same group both times. So. What I want to do is let you guys know about that, and we will go through the team real quick. By the way, guys, you like my like my old shirt? Look at this, 04, baby. Was anybody there? Anybody go to Ozfest? Put in the description below. What year did you go? Yeah, 04, baby. Bring it back. Bring it back. This is my high school days. Jeez, telling some age there. All right, all right, guys. So I will hook you up real quick. Let's go to uh, let's go to the raids. Let's go over to resource raid. This is where you're going to be doing your farming, right? All of your experience raid here, and then your gold raid. Now, some of you guys may not have the gold raid yet. As you get right here, your stage one, it says campaign stage H2-6. So you're going to need to get this far, at least in campaign stage, in order to uh, unlock gold. But just like with the gold and the experience alike, um, to unlock the higher levels, uh, you know, five, six, seven, and eight and everything. It's all about clearing the campaign stages. So make sure and start knocking that out, you know, as soon as you can. But on this one, I know, you know, you're probably getting past one or two and, 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 and maybe three or four, perhaps five or six. And you're just, maybe you can't get past six. Maybe you haven't even unlocked seven. And you're just wondering like, man, how am I ever going to get there? If I don't pay a ton of money and get all these epics, I mean, uh, all these Le uh, Legos that everybody else has, how am I going to do it? Don't worry, I got to solve, uh, I can solve the problem for you guys. If you look right here, I'm going to go to fight on level seven. Now look at this, guys. Nothing but epics. Nothing but epics here. Except one rare. And, uh, you know, I, I put little Voltas in there because let's be real. <laughs> Everybody know you got Voltus, right? So I got Voltus. I've got uh, um, uh, Wrath, but you know I'm, I'm not even actually gonna play. Uh, gonna play Wrath. I'm not even gonna place him down. Um, I've got uh, what's his uh, Navarius? Is that what his name is? Yeah, no, Navarius. Uh, what's this guy's name? Therwin, Therwin, Theowin, Therwin. Oh no, put him back in there. This one is uh, uh, Ardith. And then you have um, uh, AI, all right? So what we're gonna do is start right here. Check this out. This is where they come from, little map over here. This is where they come from. And then they go directly here. Now, they don't go in a straight line. They kind of branch out in threes. One goes to the top, one goes down the middle, and one goes to the bottom. So what we'll do is, is put things accordingly. We're gonna try to focus on AOE, even though not all of these characters are, are AOE. I did that for a reason, right? The reason is, is not everybody's going to have a full team of AOE uh, epics. You're going to have to work with what you got. And right now, what I did is I made an example team. Now, I think this team is going to do well for anybody who wants to use it. So feel free to copy and paste in, in, in your own game here. But, you know, in case you wanted to swap out a, a one or two of these guys for one or two other epics that maybe you have at an A5, or maybe that you have geared up really nice, or maybe that you just, you know, 
really like and this feel is really powerful for you and your team, feel free by all means. This is just a good example of a team and what a team can do. All right. So before I even start, like I said, I'm not placing Wrath down, so I'm not even going to look at his gear. What we're going to first is look at this guy. I've only got 40,000 BP on him. Okay. So we will go and say, yes, I do have him A4. I do have him A4, but I'm going to compensate on that just in a minute. I'll, I'll explain later in the video. Artifact wise, I, I got a 13 out of 16 on him. You know, he's doing pretty good. That's not the not the best thing in the world, but you know, it's pretty good. But it's it's a basic, it's a basic artifact, a very basic artifact. Um the skills are all maxed, but you know, there's only a couple of them. And then the gear. Look at this gear. Very basic gear. Um, no crit rate. Critical damage is there, but what does it matter? Because he's, he's not going to really ever get to use it. He has a healing effect and a little bit of rage regen, but I don't think that's going to do too much with him. Uh, the attack speed does help. And then look at that, the uh, attack. I tried to put a decent amount of attack. 369, that's about 300% attack on this guy. But this is this is basic gear that most people is gonna, are, are going to be able to get, right? But even that, he's not a big no, my biggest damage dealer in this run. Not my biggest damage dealer. So we will look at the next one. Let's look at Theowin. Look at this guy. He is at 39,000 BP. Again, not very great. I mean, I've got him six star, don't get me wrong. But look at this gear. He's got an eight, and this one's not even leveled up. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. This is nothing. This is, this is nothing fancy whatsoever. Two 14 pieces of gear here. Come on. Nothing. You, you guys got this. You guys got that, right? So. Oh, and let's look at his, um, uh, look, he's got a gold one right there. Increase attack 10% every five attacks lasting five seconds. Nothing fancy, not even maxed out, six out of 10. And then Awaken, I do have him A5, but again, I'm going to compensate for that and I'll show you. So we're going to go to the next hero and check out AI. Now, AI is a beast in general. You're not going to really find a better freeze mage than her other than maybe mari but i mean even then it is it, you know what i mean it's, it's it's right there so promotion all the way up gear look at this gear look at this gear i actually took this gear it's mixed match so you're not even getting the the, the bonus for this i actually took this gear off of my dolores okay so the attack is pretty nice but everything else is garbage everything else is garbage look at that everything else so I also came down to artifact. Oh, you know, I got a pretty good artifact on this girl. Let me swap that out for you guys. I'll put, let's see, damage increased by 10%. Let's do, let's do a simpler one. Let's try, we'll do a 10 right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I'm not trying to do all that. I want to replace. Yes. Boom. There we go. So we got AI in there. And then we have this young fellow. Check out his gear. Look at this. Not even not even leveled up at all. And that's only on 12. All right. Only on 12 here. And these pieces aren't, aren't really even good pieces. Not at all. Artifact on this guy. I got this one here, but it's just a one out of 10, not even leveled up. He's just, he's chilling with it, trying to have a good time. Again, a five will compensate. And last but not least is Mr. Voltus. He's only at 27, 27,000 BP. Okay, guys, I do have him ace, uh, uh, you know, uh, maxed out all the stars, all the promotion, uh, leveled up all the way. But look at this gear. Look at this gear, guys. No, no crit rate. Uh, crit, crit damage is pretty much relevant at this point. I got healing effect, rage regen, which I am um, oh, okay. It's, it's nice, I guess. Two, four, six, uh, almost three hundred uh, percent HP, and um, you know that's that's kind of it for this guy. Attack speed plus eighty three, so that definitely helps getting some things off. But other than that, just kind of kind of average set, you know, and. Uh, we're boosting HP here, so we're not even using the boosts, right? See, after using ultimate, increased damage by 35% for 10 seconds. I mean, these are basic sets, guys. 
basic sets and I'm, I'm not even getting the, the bonus over here all right so then we'll go to awaken like i said a5 but i'm sure some of you guys may start may be starting to have him close to, to a5 or or a3 or some something along those lines either way look at this i've got a, a basic nine out of ten basic little epic uh artifact on him as well all right so what we're going to do is we're going to lay out a defender and we're only going to have one one defender that defender is going to be able to take everybody's damage and hold everyone still while the freeze and the damage dealers are making things happen all right so let's get it going first and foremost as quickly as possible got to stay on target then you put out your damage dealer and then thirdly ai in that order right your defender then you put your guy down to start slowing and doing damage which theowin is is great for this great for slowing and doing aoe damage um and then this AO, uh, ai is now just throwing bombs basically everywhere and these are bombs that have a slowing effect as well too so everything helps also put this young gentleman right here start taking care of that and again he's rare and then finally we'll put him there and what i mean by compensating for all the a5s i'm not going to use any ultimates this run i'm going to let them run with basic attacks and their passives only no ultimate uses at all well, let's see what we get guys so far so good we're at 51 out or 52 out of 70. we got some bosses coming up can they make it happen can they make it happen look at it look at it there we go there we go guys wasn't that difficult right all epics not, not even all epics like all epics plus rare all right so let's see let's go look at the stats and look at this she is killing it ai is killing it not only in the damage but also in the slowing factor that really allows you allows your other heroes to put in more damage you know and look at this guy he's second on the list and he's a rare he's a freaking rare he's the second highest damage dealer in the bunch uh, you know, of course, you can't go without him. Anytime that you have him, you start busting that ultimate too, and it's really going to do some damage as well as, as slow some folks down. So it's really going to help you out there. And then this guy, although he's a single target damage, he does have a little bit of an AOE splash damage uh, in some of his uh, attacks, and um, it's just rapid fire is insane. He he can he can push out some some pretty decent DPS, especially you want to put some good gear on him. And then of course this guy too. You know, he's not going to be your main damage dealer, although you can build him to put out quite a bit of damage. Oh, well, no doubt about it. He can put some damage out, um, especially with some good artifacts on him. But, um, you know, I was just using him strictly for taking the damage and holding everyone still while, uh, you know, all these other guys are, are doing all the work, right? That's the way I used him. But again, you could crank up the damage on him and still let it ride, and he'd do the same thing, just add more damage. So the option is yours. But there you go, guys. Check that out. Now, what we can do is go over to the gold raid, and we'll show you the difference, or or the lack thereof. And we'll do it with the exact same team. We'll go to stage six again. Very difficult. Look at this. H seven eight. Normally, campaign stage H seven eight. Right? I mean, that's that that's that's up there, guys. Right? But you can come up here and do this with just a half team of epics and rares. Check it out. We'll go to fight already got it set up that's one two three four five heroes five heroes total putting on the field now again i'm not going to use the ultimates to compensate for the for all the a5s or, or a4s and a3s or whatnot so that's going to help compensate but you guys feel free obviously to use use all the uh uh you know the ultimates you want and um deal even more damage right i'm just showing you an absolute bare minimum team this would be similar for someone who is is very early in the game and just looking to try to start developing a good solid team that they can start farming with so that when they do eventually get those legos because they're coming you're, you're going to get them eventually just by playing but when they do come you'll be able to level them up fairly quickly and start putting them into use and start making some real damage go down right but let's check this out while we're still here all right and so same old, same old, slap him down first, slap damage and slow, and then AI is going down. 
Try to cover as much of the the, the majority of this 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 uh, big square here in the middle as possible. And then we'll, nope nope I almost popped the ultimate just out of habit. Oh no, we're gonna get somebody to get by. Uh, we got one. We got one by. I'm actually embarrassed on that one. Let's restart. We can do better. And then come on, come on. Need to be faster with it. Need to be faster with it. And then we'll get my rare out next. No, actually, we'll get this guy out next. There we go. There we go. That's a little more effective. A little more effective. And then lastly, the rare to save all rares. There we are. There we are. Making things happen. Doing work. Doing work. Look at that damage. Look at damage and slow at the same time. So by the time you get to the one defender, you're not being overran. But at the same time, it's not that you're just holding them and preventing them from moving, right? You're also causing damage while slowed. That way you don't get bum rushed at the end. And can we get it? Can we get it? Almost. Come on. A minute left. Let's go. Let's go. Can we get it? Uh oh, it's getting hairy, guys. Getting hairy. Uh oh, what's happening? What's happening? Woo! Saved it. Saved it. Look at that. Navarra says AOE damage right there with his, is what it's called, like Spirit Raven Bomb or something like that. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Slow damage control. Everybody's getting it. Everybody's getting it. Look at it. Just Steve Austin out there just handing out hands all day long right there <laughs> all right guys look at that got another one boom 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 91 what happened um anyway come over here and look at this look at this boom 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 same type of stuff navarra's actually was killing it on this one i actually did put him a little earlier uh than last time though just to get a little more damage on him and then i put him out last look at this i put him out last and he still got 1.9, almost 2 million. Outstanding. Outstanding. And then at the same time, you're farming all day long. Put this sucker on auto, let it ride. You know, if you have the opportunity to throw a Lego in there, maybe if you have one, or if you have the opportunity to throw some really good gear on these guys, or, or even good, uh, really good artifacts, uh, any of the three, any one of the three, uh, you know, obviously all of the three would be best, but any one of the three, and you're just going to further increase the, the uh, you know, easiness of each one of these uh, farming rates. So you guys asked for it. You guys got it. Make sure, give a like and subscribe down below. Put a comment if you'd like to see any, I, uh, any uh, overviews on any epics, or uh, if you'd like to see any epics used on any specific raids or, or, or areas. Let me know. I can make a video for you and then we can go from there. Talk to you later, guys. This is APOC. See you next time.